Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will solve some multiple choice questions in head and neck anatomy. The answer key and the reference book list I will put in the description bar of this video. If you have any chance, you can look at the answer key as well as the reference book at your convenience. Let's start our multiple choice question number one a healthy 17 year old senior student of a high school has a midline chronic sinus tract from the hyoid bone to the thyroid cartilage occasionally fluid comes out of the sinus the sinus tract moves with swallowing what is your provisional diagnosis okay goiter we have there is fluid coming out so this goiter means enlargement of thyroid gland okay occasional fluid comes out of the sinus so this is not the goiter cervical sin sinus that should be present laterally branchial fistula again lateral structure lateral anomaly thyroglossal cyst laryngeal tumor Laryngeal tumor at the age of 17 is most unlikely, and there will be no fluid coming out of the sinus. So, the answer should be thyroglossal cyst. This is the answer. Following a road traffic accident, an Atlantic high school student developed pulsating ichthyophthalmus. His conjunctiva was chemosed. A lesion of which which vessel caused this symptom? Okay, pulsating ectopthalmus. We have choice internal carotid artery, sigmoid sinus, transverse sinus, ophthalmic nerve, inferior sagittal sinus. What will be our answer? Pulsating ectopthalmus. The internal carotid artery. It is the answer. Number 93, the middle meningeal artery enters inside the cranial cavity to through the middle cranial fossa. How? The middle meningeal artery enters inside the middle cranial fossa through the through his foramen, from an oven, from a spinal cell. From a rotunda, from a laceram, inferior orbital fissure, answer should be from a spinal sum. A structure that passes through the inferior orbital fissure is what structure? Lacrimal nerve, frontal nerve, trochlear nerve, oculomotor nerve, maxillary nerve. The answer is the maxillary nerve. 94 is the maxillary nerve. Okay. Then we'll go to the 95. The pitro-tympanic fissure transmits what? Inferior blood nerve, lingual nerve, nerve to the mylohyoid, corda, tympani nerve, auricular temporal nerve. Answer should be D, corda, tympani nerve. Question number 98, skin of the lower eyelid gets sensory innervation, gets sensory innervation from where? Ophthalmic nerve, maxillary nerve, mandibular nerve, vagus nerve. What is the answer? The maxillary nerve. A 45-year-old anatomy professor came to the emergency room of a hospital with the complaint of sudden worst headache of his life. Okay, so we will add that complaint. Okay, so does complain complain of sudden worst headache of his life following 
bouts of cough and sneezing due to influenza. He was a patient of polycystic kidney disease, lumbar puncture revealed blood stain CSA, rupture of which vessel might cause this type of headache. So please remember that sudden onset the complaint. This is complaint, please add two part complaint of sudden onset of worst headache and patient has polycystic kidney disease it is associated with berry aneurysm aneurysm in or around the circle of wheels so due to bouts of cough and sneezing due to influenza the aneurysm of the circle of wheels may be broken the berry aneurysm Will be broken there will be subarachnoid hemorrhage that is the cause the complaint of sudden worst headache a 28 year old woman came with complaints of exophthalmos that is eye bone is pushing forward tachycardia hypertension and insomnia which of the following gland is hyper functioning in her body, parathyroid gland, adrenal gland, ovary, thyroid gland, pancreas. What is the answer? The thyroid. D is the answer. Thyroid. Okay. The D is the answer. The thyroid gland that will lead to have a hyperfunction will lead to ectopthalmus forward protruding, protruding of the eye bone tachycardia pulse rate is high blood pressure goes up and insomnia that is lack of sleeping okay here question number 99 a patient asked a a physician asked a patient to cleanse his teeth the physician palpated and tore the temporalis and masseter muscle. Okay, so temporalis here, masseter here, muscle. Which of the following nerve is essential to tore the temporalis and masseter? Okay, so we have to know nerve supply of temporalis and masseter. There is the what is the facial nerve, nervous nerve, glossophangeal nerve mandibular nerve answer should be mandibular nerve this nerve this nerve provide motor innervation to to all the muscles of mastication like temporalis masseter lateral pterygoid medial pterygoid all are innervated by the mandibular nerve a okay so we got that now go to the next question following a road traffic accident the right eyeball of a man deviated laterally and downward. His pupil become dilated and there, are, there was associated ptosis, that is drooping of the eyelid of the right eye, which of the following nerve is injured in this scenario. Okay, so eyeball deviated laterally downward people become dilated there will be there is also associated tosis what is the nerve oculomotor nerve abrusant nerve trochlear nerve ophthalmic nerve answer should be oculomotor nerve not abrusant not trochlear not ophthalmic nerve okay so answer should be what is the answer okay Answer is oculomotor nerve. A is the answer. Okay, that's all about the multiple choice question today. If you if you want to know the answer key, please go to the description bar of this video. You can also go to collect some of the popular book from where I have picked up the multiple choice question. If you like, you can open those books also. Have a nice day. Bye now. Please subscribe for my channel. Again, bye.